I'm very sad po, Ma'am CJ Sereno. Marami po sa mga kamag-anak ko naniwala sa Taliano Gold. Sarado po utak nila kahit anong paliwanag sa kanila. Paniwalang paniwala sila na kung si BBM daw ang mananalo, hindi na tayo maghihirap. Kasi babayaran na ni BBM ang utang ng Pilipinas. Magmumura na lahat ang bilihin. OMG! Dami nilang na-scam. Pero, uh, in your 35 years of marriage, siya po ay government, government official. official. Uh -huh. E kayo ay housewife until you became Minister of Human Settlements, hindi po ba? Oh, when I was elected uh -huh. for, for as kayo, congressman. You know, paano lumago ang inyong kayamanan? Ah, kasi yes, please, ang please, galing ng kanyang investment eh. Uh -huh. Ay, ang, ang investment niya, nung pumasok ako ng bahay niya, yung ilalim ng basement ng bahay, puro ginto. Tapos, sabi kong ganyan, aba, grabe ito. At saka, ano puro ginto? Yung basement niyo sa... Sa Sarman, oo, oo. Nakita niyo, puro ginto. Ginto. O, anong sinabi niya? Saan niya nakuha yung ginto? Sabi ko, kasi abogado siya ng, ng mga Benguet, Atlas, Lepanto, oh. nung before the war. Kaya kasi, nung nag, naging top notcher siya, ang pinili niya, hindi mga... Iba-ibang corporations, kundi Mina. Naniniwala siya sa gold. You mean to say he bought the gold? With he his bought, earnings? He, and he trade, and he, so, with his earning, and then he traded in gold. Eh, and bakit hindi, hindi, na, hindi na alaman ng sambayanan niyan? Tapos, bakit nung bumalik siya, hindi, hindi siya nagsumbong? Na, ganun pa wala naman maniniwala ito. sa kanina. Makikita, meron akong mga dokumento. He started trading on gold. When he had about 6,000, 7,000 tons, He entered politics. Seven thousand tons. Yes, I have the documents. I have all the documents. You are telling me, Mrs. Marcos, that you had seven thousand tons in the basement of your house in something like that. Edi, nakulub na yung bahay niya sa weight of that. Hindi the basement na lupa na yun eh. Thirty-two, thirty-two dollars. I'm, I'm, I'm. 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 The USA, according to the latest survey conducted in 2017, holds the biggest gold reserve in the world, followed by Germany, Italy, France and China. What is interesting to note, that the USA holds the largest amount of gold reserves, almost as big as the combined gold reserve of the next three biggest countries. Following are the top five countries that hold the biggest amount of gold reserve. USA The USA being on top holds a total sum of 8,133.5 tons of gold in their reserves. When he had about 6,000, 7,000 tons, he entered politics. 7,000 tons? Yes. I think it's fun to think of all the gold, and it continues to be urban legend. Um, and people are always tantalized. So it's by the not true. The Yamashita gold you're saying is not I true. I don't know. I've I never mean, your, your seen any gold. I've heard uh, about it uh, being talked about constantly. Dumayo sa Yupilus Banyo, sang libu-libong taga Calabar Zone, Mimaropa at Metro Manila. Pinangakuan umano silang makakatanggap ng pera mula sa kooperatibang may access sa mga gold bars at yaman ni dating Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos, ang One Social Family Credit Cooperative. 
ang pangako. 10,000 piso ang makukuha nila kada buwan sa loob ng apat na taon at labing isang buwan na may kasama pang kalahating milyong pisong livelihood project. Reistrado sa Cooperative Development Authority ang One Social Family Credit Cooperative. Pero lumalabas na hindi pang kooperatiba ang aktibidad nito. Kaya sinuspindi muna ng CDA ang operasyon at iimbestigahan ng grupo. Kung talaga ito sila mapatuhayan ng kasala, we will recommend for the imprisonment of these people. After of course doing due process, never shall they use cooperatives as instrument for their uh, criminal activities. Bit-bit na mga nagpunta sa UPLB ang booklet na may mukha ni Marcos at nakasaad ang umano'y mga proyekto ng dating Pangulo. Binili nila ito ng 30 pesos bawat isa at hindi daw mabibigyan ng yaman ni Marcos ang wala nito. Sa likod na kasulat ang Bullion Buyer Limited. Ayon sa Securities and Exchange Commission, Walang anumang record sa kanila ang Bullion Buyer Limited. Pero kaya nagmukhang totoo ang pangako ay dahil sa sinabi ng Pangulong Duterte kamakailan na handa nang magsauli ang mga Marcos ng yaman nito. They try to take advantage of any opportunity. When the promise is too good to be true, then you should, uh, you should not believe. Sabi ng SEC, dati nang nag-operate ang bullion buyer sa Baguio City at marami rin ang naloko. The same promise. So you are promised a monthly uh, allowance for 4 years and 11 months. Pinayagan ng pamunuan ng UPLB ang pagtitipon pero ang paalam daw sa kanila ng mga organizer ay isa lamang General Assembly. Nakarating sa pamilya Marcos ang nangyari. Sabi ni dating senador Bongbong Marcos, wala silang kinalaman sa pagtitipon at ito'y malinaw na isang scam. Babala ni Marcos, huwag magpapadala sa mga panlolokong ginagamit ang pangalan ng kanilang pamilya.